Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to assemble a weaver. It's a compact weaver. Now you can do this on the floor, but if you've got sensitive knees, maybe you want to do this on a table. Okay, so you've got a variety of spare parts here. Now, just to differentiate, this one is the one that goes on the lid, while this one is for the base. Now, this is the base. As you can see, it's fatter or deeper, while the lid is narrower. There's a little plastic tool used for tightening. All right, so I'm going to use just a nut. I'm going to use there the nut, the washer, and the screw screw goes through there right so the nut and the washer come on this side and this is what this is for is that you can uh, attach it to there to tighten it and now you just need your screwdriver now what's interesting here is you don't need fancy tools. All you really need is a flat screwdriver. So if you have an electric one uh, or just a manual one, it's all fine. As long as you've got a flat screwdriver, then you're fine. So what you want to do is you want to put this on there, you insert that on there, and you're holding it in place while you screw the screw in. Now I'm just going to use my portable screwdriver. Now, you don't want to make this so tight that you can't turn this left and right. So, you see there, I've, I've uh, fastened it, but you also don't want to make it so loose that it wobbles. So, you can see there, it's tight enough. Uh, if I want it open, if you bump this, you can see it doesn't shift. And there, if I want to tighten it. Now, it may be even too tight, so you could loosen that manually. And to do that, you just hold on the uh, tool at the back. And I'm just going to reverse this a tiny bit. That's it. So now you can see it is uh, also still not loose and it can move nicely. Right, that is now done. Right, the next step is the handle. There we go. And on the side here you'll see two drilled holes for the handle. Now keep in mind there are two handles. This is for the lid as you can see and this one here is for the uh, base so this one is to kind of pull the kettle bry along and this one is to, to lift the lid off okay so all i'm doing is i'm removing the already present nut and washer here the washer and the nut are one unit there you can see uh, very cheaply done as you can see it's not a uh, solid this is just a formed nut if you look at it and you just put that on like that and note the name you don't want to have it the other way around otherwise you will find that it's upside down so on the inside you're just going to turn these there we go and this one over here now you can just use their tool and you're going to tighten this Right, the next step is to get these legs prepared uh, you're going to find that there is a slight difference in length and then you'll find these little spring clips over here you can take them out right so i'm going to take off three of these fastening bolts one two and three and then you want to just insert this over like that one two 
3. Now what you're going to notice is that this is a triangle and two sides are the same while the other side is not. So these two sides here are going to have the wheels. And if you look at the legs, you can see they're slightly different. And can you also see that there's a shape here um, that going like that. So you don't want to have them in the wrong orientation. Now I'm opening this little bag here to get the little uh, nuts here for the wheels and for the foot okay so what is happening is if you look at the uh, shape here you can see what i'm doing um, and the reason why these ones go like that is because when you uh, put them upright you can see this is this part here at the top is going to be mounted on the kettle at the base of the kettle bra so that's going in that orientation and then now we can put the wheel you can put one there and one there Right, so now what happens is this has got little teeth and this is self-locking. So all you have to do is put it on here and you just have to squeeze it on. If you want to, you can actually tap it with a hammer. I'm just going to tap it with my pliers. And now the other side, same story. Right, what you'll notice is that even having uh, hit those uh, end caps on, there is quite a, a lot of free play here. So don't keep on hitting it, expecting this thing to stop moving. Uh, even if you hit this thing hard, you can see that this one is completely on and you're still going to get a bit of free play here. That's just how they've designed it. Right, now the next step is very important. Can you see the handle is here? in line with this leg so that is the leg that must be the longest one and the reason for that is when you want to move the kettle bra you'll lift it off the ground and the wheels must be the the ones on the left and right these two so that you can wheel it if you put the long leg over there you're going to find it very hard to uh, wheel this bra so what we want to do now is get these two legs fastened to that part of the base. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use those screws with a, with a washer and just screw it in from the inside of the base of this kettle bra. So effectively what you're doing is you're going to put this from the inside and that's going to screw into this leg from the inside on this side and that side which is the opposite side to the handle. Right now what I didn't mention is there's a little hook here. If you can see this hook here. Um, at this point, you can see the hook is facing downwards. Now, that's very important. You'll see a little bit later in the video that this hook uh, needs to face downwards. If it's not facing downwards, you'll have to open these uh, legs and then uh, swap them around to make sure that that hook is facing the downward position. All right, so this is going on the inside there like that. And you can get your little tool. And there it's coming, waiting for this leg over here, and now you can just screw it in. Alright, you don't have to make it fully tight, it's fine if there's a bit of movement, because you are going to fix the other side. Here we go. Right, so there are the two screws. I'm going to tighten it with the little tool here. And now you can do it tight. Right, I'm just having a look at this side. This is what you should have. There's your little spring cl clips there. Um, if these aren't on, you're going to be stuck because you'll either have to take off this side or this side. I highly recommend you don't reopen this side. Uh, you'll destroy the those little self-locking um, uh, end caps, whereas you'll have to open this and put these springs on. So if you miss the step and you're missing these, well, open it, slide this back on, uh, and then you're good to go. There. Right, now you'll see this little hook here. Now at this point, make sure this hook is facing down. For example, if you look at this from a side angle, you can see that is going to go down because that is going to hook into the leg as follows. See, that leg is going to go there. And that is going to hook like that. If this hook is the wrong way around, what you have to do is open these two legs and flip them so that the hook faces the right way. Flapping this over uh, will not solve the problem. Right, so what you're going to do is you're going to put this sideways, uh, feed it in there like that, rotate, 
come around and this is going to align to the back to the bottom here uh, there's the nut and the screw there's the washer and the screw or the bolt you'll use your tool to tighten it right now it's time to put this foot on now if you have a look the foot has an orientation for example if you put it like that um, you're going to see that that's going to happen so what you want to do is you want to make sure that the uh, angle at which the foot is placed uh, aligns with this leg now inside here you will find there's a spare little nut So if you uh, buggered up your, your, the nut to uh, fix the wheel on, well, there's a spare one. It's sitting inside of here. Right, so now this only goes one way because you can see there is a recess there and there's a lip. That lip is going to align into that recess. And then you press that firmly. Now while we're here, I'll just show you how to put this uh, tray in. Uh, there's these little springs. Can you see that I've turned this one outwards? See, I just did that to turn out. You put that there, you lift this one up, uh, the tray up, and then can you see I just rotate it in. And there we go. You can make this uh, a little bit tight. And the reason why I say that is because if you drive this thing, you don't want this thing uh, falling out. And also the rattle is maybe a bit annoying. So there you go. It's nice and fastened. Right, just having a look at the inside now. There are your three nuts. Uh, make sure everything is tight. One, two, three. This is for the suit or the ash once you're done. And then obviously the handle, make sure that it's all tight. Now this part is now complete. And all the handle fits in like this. This is a heat shield. So that goes there. And then you'll see there are punched two holes there. Two holes have been punched. And then you've got the two um, formed nut and washer. And that's going to fasten from the inside like that. And again, you'll just use your little tool. Go right, left, right. So right now they're both tight. And the very last thing is just the breather. That goes over there. There is the screw going through there. It's a flat screw. But on the other side, there's a little step here. There's the little hook that allows you to uh, rest this lid on the kettle bra. Now, there we go. You just put that on like that and then again once with your tool now this is a little bit tricky some people don't mind this thing all loose for me i don't like it loose so i'm going to tighten it a bit tool at the back all right now you don't want to over tighten it because then you, you'll have this problem you see you can't even move it so just a little bit less tight than that and then look at can you see that thing is over the hole which is incorrect um, and now it is in the right place and you probably find it's actually loose now there we go that's fine so you see tight enough that it doesn't rattle uh, loose enough that it doesn't you're not gouging the paint in order to move this right and there's the little handle now this is how your compact weaver should look. You see the handle is with a long leg so that I can drive it. If you had the long leg there, you'll find your handle, you'll be sitting here and then you'll have to drive it almost at an angle. It will be terrible. Okay, so now we can put the grills in. One, two, and there's your lid. As you can see, the lid just uh, pops onto that like that and there is the complete job. Okay, so the last thing you do is check everything is tight. Um, and that's it. So, I hope that was helpful and thanks for watching. Cheers.